Y'all, let me show you this awesome haul I got from the consignment sale around here. I'm so pumped. The consignment sale comes into town twice a year. I mean, I'm sure there's other ones, but I have like a favorite one that I go to. And look at what I got. I got all this stuff for $86. I know that seems hard to believe, but that's because I myself actually consigned this year. So I made money, spent it, and then came back and spent more money. And I got so much good stuff. I'm in love with this year's haul. Got a whole bunch of toys. I wanted to go heavy on the toys because I know that's going to be fall and darker sooner so that we're not going to be spending as much time outside. And I'm trying to make sure that my kids aren't bored. I stocked up on pajamas for both my son and my daughter. They've got a thing for pajamas. They want to wear them every night and they want to wear different pairs every night. But pajamas are so expensive. So I was really happy to find some. I kind of had like a little panicky moment whenever I brought all these clothes home because I was thinking there's no way that my daughter can fit these clothes because some of them looked so big but no she can she can fit them there's only a couple that are too big but that's fine because she's gonna grow into them right I'd rather buy something that's too big than too small I've been having her pick out her own little outfits for a long time now and I can't wait until she sees all of these new options she's such a girly girl she likes clothes and bags and she wants her nails painted and to pick out shoes which is kind of funny because she'll actually wear only one pair of shoes which are her hand-me-down crocs from her brother but they're her favorite things ever anyway she got lots of good stuff i kind of over shopped for my son the previous consignment sale for the fall season so i didn't buy him as much stuff i focused mostly on the pajamas i found lots of cute little pairs of pants he usually just pairs them with a t-shirt anyways. It's getting harder to get him into the little t-shirt pajamas, you know what I'm talking about? I'm super pumped for the temperature drop. I'm way over the summer. It was a really hot summer, unfortunately. Kind of skimpy on the shoes, but that's okay. My kids are definitely croc kids, just like their mother. Look at all these toys that I got. Like I said, I went heavy on the toys, and that's because I know that we're going to be using them. Also went heavy on the books. My children love books, especially my son. He's going to be turning four soon, and he can already, like, I don't know, outread probably a third grader. His, he's got an excellent reading level. I'm super proud of him. I don't know many three-year-olds who can read as well as he can, but it's very impressive. Look at all these books. I got that for like $4. Can you believe that? Those are the nice kind too. My kids love anything with an engine in it. Helicopters, tractors, cars, big machines. It doesn't matter. They also are really big into farm animals right now. So I went and looked for as many of the little farm figurines as I could and little dogs. My daughter loves cats and dogs. She lines them up or sticks them inside of her school bus. I don't know. She's got a thing for cats, dogs, and school buses. <laughs> Puzzles. Oh, yes. Paw Patrol is definitely our favorite for both my son and my daughter. So I got a whole bunch of Paw Patrol stuff. I don't really know what these dinosaur things are, but we'll see. Cars, once again. Hot Wheels. Half off for the Hot Wheels. And we can't forget Daniel Tiger, of course. My son is going to be so excited whenever he gets his hands on that trolley because the trolley actually moves. He propels himself and does like the theme song and the little bell. I love fresh toys. I don't know who likes the consignment sale more, me or my kids. <laughs> They had a bunch of Paw Patrol stuff, but since we already have a bunch, I only got a few things. What I really wanted was one of the Paw Patrol towers they had there, but it was like $100. Like, get out of here. I'm not paying $100 for a Paw Patrol tower. I wanted so badly for these little eggs to have little tiny chickens in them, and I couldn't wait to open it, but it was just shapes. That's okay. I mean, shapes are more educational or whatever, but damn, it would have been so cute to have little tiny chickens in there. Look, you can pull the chicken. So I saw this big bag of tracks and I was torn on getting it because it was 10 bucks, but I decided that I was gonna go ahead and pay it. We already have these tracks, but not enough to do something cool. So I was happy to have the extra tracks and we're gonna set that thing up later too. It's great for a rainy day. Look at Charlie going by himself. I can't wait to show my son. He's gonna flip. Anything that sings and has the ABCs on it is always a big hit in my house. This book got pulled out before the other toys and they've already ripped it up, but that's okay. Also, this book had a bunch of stickers in it that I didn't know about, and my son's bed got sticker bombed, but that's okay, they're Ninja Turtles, that's fine. I mean, he's three. So yeah, I had a great haul this year, and I'm super excited. I already can't wait for the next one, but that won't be until March, so stay tuned.